watching the first college football game of the season being played on Saturday night, Austin P. Central Arkansas, it was weird. I'll be completely honest. It felt, that was felt out of place. Like, I, I don't know why it was just, it just didn't feel right. As a massive college football fan myself, I don't know, maybe it's because Penn State, my alma mater, is not playing, so maybe I kind of, you know, there was a little part of me that died this fall, not looking forward or not being able to look forward to watching them play, try to go for a national title. Uh, maybe it's because schools are, and, and leagues aren't starting, like the big leagues aren't starting until about another month or so. The SEC and the Big 12 aren't kicking off until uh, September 26th that weekend. Uh, the ACC is going to be in two weeks on September 12th. So maybe that's the reason why I'm just still not, you know, geared up. Maybe it's because for the most part we have no preseason NFL games. So for the really, there's not a lot of NFL news in the, you know, a lot of NFL in the news cycle, I should say, because really we don't get that much look at practice. There's not too much news to come out, especially now teams are being extra secretive with trying to keep as much information on the inside as possible. So maybe it's just I'm not ready personally for football to be here, and it's almost like a shock. Like wow, out of nowhere, it felt like college football is here. And that's what it felt like. So it's interesting if you watched Austin P. Central Arkansas like I did. It's good to have football back for sure. It's good to have college football back for sure. But speaking of college football, right, like I just said, the ACC is going to start in two weeks. The SEC and the Big 12 are going to start in just about a month on September 26th that weekend. The Big 10 was one of the leagues that decided they are not going to play football this fall. Kevin Warren, the new athletic director, or the, I should say the new com- uh, conference commissioner, excuse me, the Big 10, talked with university presidents, chancellors. They made the decision The science says it's not safe to play this fall. We're going to maybe play in the spring, hopefully play in the spring at some time, maybe January, maybe March or whatever. We're just going to punt down the road and hopefully have some sort of spring season for these kids to play. But ultimately, they didn't feel it was safe to play at all during this upcoming fall. Okay. You know, it's disappointing. I I can't lie. I was personally, I felt a little betrayed, a little shocked, considering that just a week before this decision was made to shut it down, they put out the new football schedule. They started practice already, and they really almost felt like there was no real inclination. But they were seriously considering shutting the season down. Then in the span of, it felt like just minutes. There's some rumors, reporting on social media that eh, the Big Ten's going to have a meeting. University presidents don't feel too comfortable, and for the most part, they're going to cancel the season. A few days later, boom, season's canceled. So now sitting here on August 31st, a few weeks removed from that announcement, I've accepted it. Okay, fine. You know what? We're looking at it realistically, could college football be played, especially with students going back? We see already what happens when students go back. Plenty of universities are having clusters, are having outbreaks, and they've either gone remote for a few weeks or sent all the kids home. So it was already a challenge just to get college football off the ground. We haven't even played a game yet in the Power Five conference. So it's gonna, it was going to be a challenge. And I, you know what? After kind of getting over the... Um, the shock, the frustration, okay, fine. I respect the decision. It's not like it was just willy-nilly. A lot of science does back it up, does show that it's hard to play. Fine. But now there's reports. Now there's some rumors coming out just this past week that the Big Ten, the conference that said no football this fall, it's not safe, whose schedule bled into November and December, mind you, they're going to have games before Thanksgiving, after Thanksgiving, and even, you know, depending on, can't possible cancellations through almost the end of December. Well, now there's reports considering that the Big Ten is considering playing a 10-game season starting on Thanksgiving weekend. All of a sudden now they think it's safe to play late November, early December. I want to have a 10-game season starting again Thanksgiving weekend. So I want to ask you this. The college football fan, maybe you're a big Big Ten fan, maybe you're a big SEC fan, maybe you're just an overall big college fan. Would you be into this? Would you be into a 10-game Big Ten college football season starting um, on Thanksgiving weekend, bleeding into December, probably bleeding into January, and maybe having the Rose Bowl, let's say, late January, early February? Would you be into it? Because to me, a Penn State fan, a fan of Big Ten football, honestly, I'm not into it. I don't think it's a good idea. I think at this point, just wait till the fall of 2021. No spring football, no winter football. Just gear up and make sure that when fall 2021 comes, you are ready to go. The right protocols, God forbid, if we are still in this pandemic, by this time next year, hopefully not. I'm not going to what? Hopefully not. But, you know, I mean, who knows? You better make sure you are ready to go in the fall of 2021. There's a few reasons why I'm not into it. Again, 
Penn State alum, Big Ten football fan. Should be right up my alley. All right, Penn State's going to play. Ten games, let's do it. I'm not a fan. Number one, the games are essentially meaningless. And here's what I mean by that. The Big Ten starting on Thanksgiving weekend, they're not going to be in the college football playoff discussion. They're not going to be in the, you know, the rankings. They're, or if they are, it's meaningless. So let me ask you this. As a college football fan, maybe as a fan of a Big Ten school, would you be into watching essentially meaningless games while at the same time, simultaneously, there will be games on with championship aspirations? Right? There's going to be teams that last weekend in November, on Thanksgiving weekend, playing for spots to get into their conference championship, playing for spots to get into the college football playoff. So you're going to have those games with a lot on the line. Obviously, this is assuming the season get, can, can get played safely. So you have those games with all that importance, all that hype. And then on the side, you're going to have essentially what they are glorified preseason games. That's what they are. Ten games. Sure, you can win a Big Ten title, put it up in your school stadium, 2020 Big Ten champs. Sure, it's great. But these are essentially preseason games. They don't mean anything. There's no championship impact at all by the Big Ten playing, even in Thanksgiving. And if you think players opted out or there's a lot of players that opted out before the season started, imagine how many players are going to opt out of the Big Ten now. Seeing there's no chance for a championship. Essentially, again, you're playing for pride. But these games are meaningless. And now we see couch football is starting to become more and more of a business. So if you have a shot at the NFL, you take it. Couch football is great. Obviously, it's great to win a title. You want to do what you can. But you got to protect you. First, because if you can't get to the NFL, can't get that paycheck, you know, it's not as easy to digest. So essentially, these games are meaningless because there is no championship impact, no championship aspirations for Ohio State, for Penn State, for Wisconsin, for Michigan, for any team you want to throw in there that you had hope for this season of uh, maybe making the playoff, maybe get to Indianapolis to be in the Big Ten championship game. That's all gone. So the games are meaningless on the jump. To me, that also makes me very skeptical of the fans' interest. Who's going to watch these games? So I went and looked at the schedules for the SEC, the Big 12, and the ACC, because the Big Ten, or excuse me, the, yeah, the Big Ten wants to have a big rollout Thanksgiving weekend. Okay. What other, what other games are they going to go head-to-head with? Because, they, I mean, part of the reason for resuming is to have eyeballs in these games. You want to generate some sort of money, which would mean TV deals. So if you're a TV provider, would you rather watch a Penn State-Michigan game on Thanksgiving weekend with really nothing, again, nothing at stake? other than really pride or a possible Big Ten title game that doesn't go anywhere else after that? Or would you rather watch, I don't know, the Iron Bowl that same weekend? LSU, Texas A&M, would you look at Texas, uh, Texas a and M schedule? They will be pretty good by that point in the season. Would you rather watch Notre Dame, North Carolina? Two really interesting teams in the ACC. Texas, Iowa State, I, I do like Iowa State. That could be a funky little matchup. And UCF, USF. Central Florida versus South Florida. UCF, you know, we always hear the hype. There's always, that's always a team outside of the power five that's always kind of garnered some interest. So all these games are going to be in the same weekend the Big Ten is hoping to launch their season. Most of those games are going to have some sort of playoff implication one way or another. Obviously, Alabama-Auburn. Obviously, boom. LSU, trying to get back in the mix, trying to defend their title. Notre Dame-UNC. Both, pretend, uh, both playing for a possibly a right to play Clemson in the ACC title game, which if they get a win over Clemson, you could say, well, they can get into the playoff. Big 12's open, so who knows, you know, every year Texas is back. Is this finally the year that that's true? I don't think so, but you never know. My point is, all these games are just listed have playoff implications one way or another. And that's just the opening weekend that the Big Ten's going against. Then, as the season gets later, you will be competing head-to-head against conference championships. And playoff games. So I'm very skeptical of the fan interest of fans of, like, even myself, as a Penn State fan. If I watch these games over, let's say, if Alabama Auburn's playing the same time Penn State is, playing Penn State, Illinois. I don't know how much I'm watching at Penn State, to be completely honest. So I'm skeptical of the fan interest, because essentially these games are meaningless and are glorified preseason games. And I'll be honest, one of the biggest kind of feelings that I have right now of the season that kind of overriding everything else is that this back and forth that the Big Ten has been doing essentially this last month 
has been honestly beyond infuriating. They've handled this entire process atrociously. Starting back in the middle of July, when, the, for the most part, the schedules that were rolled out, that were supposed to be scheduled, you know, like the normal schedules, nothing has changed back in the middle of July. Everyone's still going to be planning on playing their non-conference games. No games have been canceled. And the Big Ten was the first. They took everyone else by surprise. They were the first to say, you know what, we're playing conference only. We are only playing teams within the Big Ten conferences here. That's it. So teams, you know, these non-conference games like Oregon, Oklahoma, uh, Ohio State, canceled. We're only playing teams in the Big Ten. Well, they didn't bother to tell anyone else that. They just did it for themselves. They kind of blurted out there saying, hey, look at us. We're being proactive. We're taking the first step. We're only playing conference only. So they've never been on the same page with either anyone else, any other conference, or even in some cases within their own conference. Because you see, once the decision to cancel the season came about, you had – James Franklin at Penn State. You had Ryan Day at Ohio State. You had Jim Harbaugh at Michigan. You had Scott Frost at Nebraska basically trying to break away from the Big Ten. But all these coaches, all these teams, outwardly showing their frustration with the process, outwardly showing why a season should still be played. You had petitions being signed, being thrown out there by Justin Fields that had over 200,000 signatures to reinstate the season. You had parents going to the Big Ten conference uh, or the Big Ten offices protesting the decision, you have Nebraska players suing the Big Ten for their decision not to play. So this has been an absolute nightmare for the conference's perspective. It's been handled terribly since day one. There's been no leadership. There's been really, it sounds like no communication because they've had five months since the pandemic started in March to come up with a plan, look at the science, and decide one way or another, okay, we can do it or we can't. The Big Ten said we can't do it. A month ago. Now they're trying to do it again. To me, the back and forth is infuriating. It's like, I'm done. You made the decision. Live with it. Too bad that you thought that the other leagues were going to cancel their season. They're going to follow suit. And they're not. The Pac-12 did. But the Pac-12 also had science. They also were on the same page with each other. To where as soon as the Pac-12 canceled their schedule, you don't have Oregon actively looking to break away. You don't have USC begging for the conference to reinstate their season. Everyone's on the same page. Everyone knew it was coming. And it's okay. It's time to live with it. What can we do next? Where the Big Ten has just been a complete CF. You know what that means. Since really this entire pandemic started. And now trying to plan Thanksgiving. Trying to implement this 10-game season. Trying to get essentially what it is is a money grab. This is only the idea to play in Thanksgiving is strictly a money grab. Because now the idea of spring football is getting too close to the, uh, for the fall 2021 season. They're trying their best to somehow get as much money back as possible. But you know what I say to the Big Ten? I say, too bad. You made your bed, now lie in it. And this is, again, coming from a Penn State alum and a Big Ten football fan. I want to see Penn State football more than anything. And it's really, it's a shame that teams like Ohio State, with how talented they are and how close they were last year, to have a chance to run it back, try to win a title, they don't have the opportunity. It stinks. It, it does. But I'm sorry. The decisions have made. It's over. So please stop with this. Oh, maybe we'll play for Thanksgiving. Oh, maybe we'll play January 1st. I'm sorry. It's over. And the more you kind of try to think about reversing your decision one way or another, or as try to limit the bleeding, the more just it makes me more upset. Because obviously there was no plan. If you cancel the season, you got to do it with conviction. You got to know, okay, there's going to be pressure, there's going to be backlash, but our decision is made. And now it just feels like, sure, they won't reinstate the season for now to play on, on, on schedule with the SEC, the ACC, and the Big 12. But it feels like they're trying to go back on their their decision a little bit, trying to hedge their bet a little bit. Oh, maybe we'll play at Thanksgiving. Maybe we'll squeeze in, a, you know, a late fall, early winter season. I'm sorry. You made your decision. Live with it. So that's why, to me, it really is frustrating, Karen, to hear the Big Ten going back and forth, honestly. That's why I'm not into it. I'm sorry. I'm not into watching meaningless football for the conference that has really no clue what they're doing, to be completely honest. And the Big Ten, to me, I thought was a model conference. They're always the ones who did it, for the most part, the right way. They have a massive TV deal. All their teams, for the most part, are on the same page. Sure, they don't have the success that an SEC does. But they have it together. They are one of the best conferences in doing everything. But for whatever reason, this decision just made everyone look bad. All that goodwill that they worked up throughout the years, all that organization, all that praise they've gotten for being one of the best well-run conferences in all of college athletics is out the window. So I am personally not into a late fall, early winter, Thanksgiving, Turkey Bowl, Big Ten season. I'm not.